Good day, everybody. This is Dark Comet, and welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. Welcome back to Little Nightmares Part 2. We're continuing on with this eerie and spooky adventure in Chapter 4 called The Pale City. We broke up Pale City Chapter into two separate episodes because of the length of gameplay, and this is Part 2 of that adventure. In the first part, we saw Mono and the little boy enter the dark and rainy streets of Pale City. We saw some eerie sights as people were falling from the skies, and there's a bunch of empty clothing that's been left around. We also saw them enter a collapsing building and Mono had to go in and save the little boy's life. Mono eventually found a television set and entered it and then brought forth the Thin Man who is the boss of this level. The Thin Man then captured the little boy and took him away and then Mono had to go ahead and teleport through different television sets and evade faceless people that are mindlessly watching television sets throughout the level. We also were able to collect all the glitching remains of this chapter and the first of the two hats. In this part, we're going to see Mono continue his adventure trying to look for the little boy. We're going to see Mono find other television sets that go make him go inside of it to enter a very eerie land. We're going to see Mono use these television sets to act as teleportation machines to go back and forth between places that he cannot reach. We're going to see Mono have to evade tons of mindless, faceless people um, as he tries to turn it off and on the television sets as part of the puzzle and then we're going to have the big encounter with the thin man and we're going to find out some very surprising things as the tale unfolds so hope you guys are enjoying the tale i'm really enjoying it playing it it is so exciting to see it unfold it's quite quite the spooky vibe to it which i really enjoy and i'm kind of fun to try to figure out how this tale is unfolding because there is no dialogue and there's no explanation of what's happening here so you kind of have to give it your own interpretation so Let's get busy and get the remaining hidden trophies in this level. There's two remaining. We're going to also pick up the second of the two hats. We'll put that on and show you what that looks like. There's a lot of little puzzles in this level. It is quite challenging to figure them out. There's a lot of portals you have to do with the intelligence. You have to do a lot of evasion of the enemies. And then you have to figure out how to beat the Thin Man, which is quite entertaining. So let's go ahead and get on with this spooky and eerie tale. And I look forward to showing it to you. We've now reached the part of this chapter where it's very important that you wear your postal carrier hat. If you don't already have it on, put it on. Climb up through this little air duct hole here and jump on through. We're going to go get that hidden trophy that's required for this chapter by wearing your hat. So jump up and down on this pile of packages and mail. And once it crashes down the chute, we're going to land softly to the packages down below. We're going to then climb up the packages and open the suitcase that's hidden over here. And once we go climb inside, we're going to see that we can pick up one of the packages inside the suitcase. So go ahead and throw that out of the suitcase and pick it up. And we're going to carry it to the other side of the room where we're going to see a special mail chute. And we're going to see the door open up. And on that door is going to be another one of those chalk drawings of the eye, which always tells you that there's something special there. So carry the package over here. A little hand's going to pop out, which is quite cool. It's going to take the package and you will get your hidden trophy called Post Industrial. I really enjoyed that one. It was fun watching that hand come out of the wall and grab that package. It's a really easy one to miss, so make sure you pick up that package and deliver it in order to get that trophy so you can get your platinum later on.
now that we see the electrified water down below, we know we can't continue that way until we find a way across. So go ahead and head to the right here. You'll see a grocery cart. Go ahead and push behind it and push it over to the left. In order to continue on with your adventure, you are going to have to push it down the ramp there and it'll position itself so you can jump across the water. But for right now, we're going to push it over to this bookshelf over here. We're going to climb on top of the cart and then jump on top of the shelving. And we're going to find the second of the two hats in this chapter. There's only one hat after this one, but we cannot get it at this point in time in the game. So go ahead and climb to the left here. You'll see the dog chalk drawing over here, which is quite funny. And climb on top of the packaging and pick up your second of two hats. I really like this hat and the look of it, so go ahead and we'll put it on and see what it looks like. I really like the look of this hat here. It's quite fun. Um, I'm going to wear it quite a bit when I play the game later on. Um, you'll see that there's one hat remaining in order to get all the hats in the game. We'll get that as we move forward in the game, and I'll point out where that is. Once you do that, go ahead and take this grocery cart and push it over to the ramp. Push it down. It'll position itself in the water, and then you can jump across it and continue on with trying to solve this puzzle.
man, that was very fun to take out the Thin Man. I hope you guys enjoyed how that played out. Now the doors are going to open up in a pink, eerie glow will show itself. We're going to go ahead and walk through the glow, and that will end this chapter. As we enter that, we're just going to immediately start Chapter 5. I will make sure that we try to get all of Chapter 5 on the last episode. We're going to also pick up the last hidden trophy for this game, which is actually a progressive trophy. It's called Pale, which makes sense. And I'm going to show you that we got the two hats in this episode and the four glitching remains to get all the collectibles in this level as well. That will give us all the collectibles and all the hidden trophies for this chapter, and there's only a few remaining to get that platinum trophy. Well guys, that's going to do it for this chapter of Little Nightmares 2. I hope you enjoyed this frightening and fantastic adventure as we try to see where Mono takes us as we look for Six and try to find a way out of this scary, creepy nightmare that they're living in. Make sure you hit that like button, it really helps out my channel a lot. And hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. And check out the notification bell so that you can be notified when I'm doing other things, including this game and others. If you check the description down below, you're going to see the links to the original Little Nightmare game that I already played. It should have all the collectibles there as well. And other games that I've been playing, including The Last of Us Part II. Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, and others. So, look forward to seeing you guys as we move through this fantastic little Nightmare 2 game. I'm going to show you all the collectibles as we go through, all the trophies you can get. I'm going to do a lot of research to make that happen, and I hope you guys appreciate that. I look forward to seeing you on the next Dark Comet adventure. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you later.